Hi everyone, I am Manuel Boldrera and I'm going to present you our work entitled Time Inverted Kuramoto Model Meets Lissagious Curves, Multi-Robot Persistent Monitoring and Target Detection. Let's start with the problem description. Given a convex and rectangular mission space and an homogeneous robotic agent with omnidirectional sensing capabilities, we want to synthesize a distributed control load that satisfies the following. All the mission space has to be swept up continuously and by all the robot sensors. If a rag element is introduced in the mission space, we want to ensure detection of the rag element in a finite time. We want to avoid collision between robots. The robots have to follow smooth trajectories and the algorithm has to be resilient to perturbations and or temporary robot failures. As you can see from the figure, we assume that the robots move on a closed path L and the position of the ith robot can be identified as r of theta i. The goal of this paper is to understand which path the robots have to follow and how they should coordinate to achieve the desired behavior. We discovered that by constraining the robots to move on a family of parametric curves called Lissagius curves and under the constraint a plus b equal to the number of robots, by imposing to each robot what we call the time-inverted Kuramoto dynamics reported in this slide, at the equilibrium, we obtain the desired collective behavior. In the simulation here, we depicted with a solid red line the chosen Lissagius curve. The robots are depicted as blue dots, the topology R is highlighted with orange lines, and the red circles define the sensing area of each robot. We have that by properly selecting the parameters of the Lissagius curve, all the space of interest is swept up continuously by all the robot sensors, Target detection is ensured in finite time. We have collision avoidance between robots, and the robots follow smooth trajectories as well. In this presentation, I do not have time to present all the features of the time inverted Kuramoto dynamics. However, if you are interested in it, you can read our previous works reported in this slide. The main aspect to keep in mind is that this dynamical system has multiple equilibrium configurations. We call them kappa clustered configurations. The one clustered configuration is the one that, for instance, corresponds to n equal to 9 and p equal to 4 in the figure, where the robots cover homogeneously in groups of 1 all the desired path of interest. One of the main advantages of relying on the time-inverted Kuramoto dynamics is related to the resiliency of the system, which is a measure of the capability to recover promptly from unexpected events. In the paper, we also provide sufficient conditions to have resiliency to perturbations, which may be induced by tracking error, for example, and resiliency to temporary robot failures. In this case, we meant that the system is resilient if, after an, an unexpected event, the system is able to go back to the previous equilibrium configuration. In the figure, we depict the amount of perturbation that robot 1 can account before violating the sufficient condition for resiliency to perturbation. For what concerns the implementation of real robotic platforms, we introduce a tailored low-level controller based on a model predictive contouring controller, which does not require an explicitly time-dependent reference trajectory. Hence, we minimize a cost function which accounts for the desired velocity theta dot and the distance from the desired path, imposing the dynamical constraint and the control input saturation as well. This is the overall scheme for the height robot. A desired Lissagius curve is selected. The localization module extracts the height robot state theta i. The time inverted Kuramoto dynamics on the basis of the theta i and theta j computes the desired theta i dot. And finally, the MPCC computes the control inputs tau i and delta i. Here I would like to show a couple of experimental results. In this case, we have n equal to 5 robots, 3 physical and 2 simulated. The selected Lissajous curve is indicated in red, and each robot follows the time invert Kuramoto dynamics. Despite tracking errors due to model mismatches in the MPCC constraints, the system preserves the desired equilibrium.
In this case, we have another experiment where after a few seconds, the robot 1 and 5, which are the simulated ones, suddenly stop their motion. After a few seconds, robot 1 and 5 are recovered and the system promptly come back to the initial equilibrium configuration. 